Well, you guys got another video here for your Microsoft drop support for Intel 8th gen, 9th gen and 10th gen processors for Windows 11 24H2. What I have seen on the internet is a lot of tech uh, sites that are posting uh, incorrect information about this. But if you look at this post right here where it says Windows 11 version 24H2 support Intel processors and there's a list of all of the processors that are listed on this site. And unfortunately, there is no listings now for 8th gen, 9th gen, and 10th gen processors. And I think a lot of people have jumped the gun a little bit, thinking that Microsoft are now saying that you can't install Windows 11 24H2 or upgrade uh, Windows 11 24H2 on those systems if you have that CPU, and that's simply not true. The truth is in this paragraph right here, and I'll read it out to you so you can see, but just visualize this part here, which I'm highlighting. So it says the processors listed represent the processor models which meet the minimum floor for the supported processor generations and up through the latest processors at the time of this publication. These processors meet the design principles around security reliability and minimum system requirements for Windows 11. Subsequently, releases and future generations of the processors which meet the same principles will be considered and supported, even if it's not explicitly uh, listed. It is expected that the processor list will not reflect the most current uh, offerings from the processor manufacturers between updates. Updates to this processor list will occur at each subsequent general availability of Windows. So down the bottom, it says OEMs may use the following CPUs for new Windows 11 devices. New Windows 11 devices must use the modern device drivers, which have been passed uh, the Windows hardware compatibility program for Windows 11 or the latest available modern uh, device drivers based on their uh, information there so basically what that is saying is so what that message is saying is oems may be used for the following cpus for their new windows 11 devices so microsoft are telling oem manufacturers that they have to use modern cpus on that list which doesn't include 8th generation, 9th generation, and 10th generation CPUs. I think the big problem with a lot of people is they don't read the information that is being given on the page, and then they assume that Microsoft are doing something devious where they're trying to cut you out of being able to install Windows 11 on 8th generation or 9th generation or 10th generation CPUs because they're not listed on this list. So if you read that message again and digest it a little bit, you can see that it says OEMs may use the following CPUs for their new Windows 11 devices. That means they're telling manufacturers who create OEM systems that they have to use modern CPUs that are listed on this list. And these are going to be the only CPUs that OEM manufacturers are going to be able to use they're not going to be able to use or sell systems with older cpus now if we look at the windows 11 system requirements page things have not changed now if microsoft were enforcing uh, this policy where you cannot use eighth generation or ninth generation or tenth generation cpus the windows 11 system requirements page would have been changed but it's exactly the same as it's always been. So there is no real movement on that front. So basically what it's telling you is that you can still uh, upgrade from one of those older CPUs to Windows 11 24H2. You can also uh, install Windows 11 24H2 with a computer that has either an 8th gen or a 9th gen or a 10th gen processor. So what Microsoft are saying is that OEM manufacturers that are building brand new computers for a Windows 11 24H2 and moving forward will have to use 
the supported Intel processors that are listed on that site. That means that OEM manufacturers like Dell and HP and Lenovo, they have to use modern CPUs. They cannot use older 8th gen, 9th gen or 10th gen processors in them OEM builds. Also, Microsoft have updated their AMD list as well and added the 8000 series CPUs in here as well. So some of these have been listed on here where they wasn't listed before, but they have now been listed, which is the 8700G processors and the 8840HS and so on. So they've been added into the list as well. So does that mean that you can't purchase any old Dell Optiplexes, HPs or Lenovo's or any of these old systems that have 8th generation, 9th generation or 10th generation on them? That's simply not true. You can still go on eBay and purchase these. And if they have Windows 10 already installed on them, you'll be able to upgrade that to Windows 11. Perfectly fine. And you'll be able to do a fresh install of Windows 11 on those systems as well. All it's saying is basically you can't sell them. Manufacturers can't sell brand new computers with these old CPUs in them. So for DIYers who like to flip PCs and buy PC parts and put together PCs, you can still buy these components on eBay and even brand new on Amazon. If they're an older generation, old stock, you can still buy these and build your PC and put it together and it will still be able to run Windows 11. You'll still be able to install it and do upgrades on it. So that's not changed either. And the reason why that is, is because the system, uh, you know, system requirements have not changed. One thing I will say is a lot of uh, websites online, a lot of tech websites online, and also on YouTube as well that create YouTube videos, what you're going to see a lot of is people saying the wrong stuff just to get views. There's a lot of fake news out there, a lot of fake stuff being floated around all about Windows 12 and all this sort of stuff. And what it is, is just to get views and people will fall for it. And of course, the hate train will grow for Microsoft because then they believe that Microsoft are, you know, now blocking 8th generation, 9th generation and 10th generation processors for Windows 11 24H2. And that's simply not true. It's like when Chris Titus Tech made a video about, uh, you know, recall being running on a normal computer and saying it's running in the background, copying all your data and sending it back to Microsoft when it simply wasn't true. And I had to make a response video showing you that uh, it was actually not true and it's not doing anything. It, this is the problem. People will do stuff just to get views. And unfortunately, it's just the way uh, the Internet is nowadays. I made a complete video explaining about recall and things like that. It's not a very nice feature to have on your operating system. I don't particularly like it. If you have got Windows 11 24H2, just make sure you disable that feature in the command prompt. So I have made videos about that. But even if it was on, it's still not going to be copying data and sending it back to Microsoft. So anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope this video helps clear some things up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on our new Discord server. Link is in the video description. Bye for now.